How the heck do I drive with one leg? <laughs> it's honestly a bit more complicated than you would think. So normally when I drive, I'll leave my leg in the back seat. It'll kind of just be chilling back there. Especially if I'm doing a long road trip, my leg will get uncomfortable. But whenever I need to enter the vehicle or walk around, that's when I have to put my leg on. So I'll just grab my leg from the back seat. I try and do this in a little bit more of a private area. And then once I have my leg on, I can just walk around and do whatever I need to do. But getting into a vehicle is actually a lot harder because normally I have to sit down and I've dragged my leg around and put it into here, to this little spot that I have for my foot. But if I ever need to get into the back seat of a vehicle, I kind of have to flip my leg over to get in the car so it's a lot easier. Easier. I can just put my leg on this side of the car or whoever's sitting on this side. It'll just be on their lap. Like, look at all that leg room. But this is my 09 CRV. It's been through a lot, but it's so much easier for me to get in and out of the car compared to a regular sedan. My left leg doesn't need to do much, so I can never really drive manual, I guess. But I need my right foot for my brake and my right foot for my gas, and I could drive. So, driving with one leg honestly isn't that bad. And then, of course, the best part about having one leg is this VIP parking that I get. So, I'd say the cancer was worth it.